right, I am back in the United States with some booty from Europe. And the first thing I got, actually, in we, uh, we family took a trip over to London and France. and uh, Actually, yeah, London and France. One London, then down to Paris, and then across the north of France. We went all over the place. It was a great trip. Uh, the first day in London. Literally, I was in London two and a half hours. Uh, and we walked to Forbidden Planet, which was actually really close to our hotel. And found tarantulas. Probably one of my most anticipated... I mean, now now that that title moves to Inferno, but even of those two, tarantulas was the one I was most excited for. So probably my, my most excited uh, legacy figure I was looking forward to. Uh, one, tarantulas. Two, uh, it's, the pictures show it's a fairly solid figure and it is in hand. Um, and three, just more Beast Wars stuff. Like, we're almost done. Just need Inferno and we'll have all the Season 1 cast there on the shelf. So here he is in his big tarantula mode, his big hairy tarantula. Um, he's got his little weapon back here, which could peg in a little better. This one pegs in just fine, the little saw blade, the uh, little bow and arrow uh, shooter, laser gun thingy, grappling line, whatever. Uh, could peg in a little more securely, uh, like it does on Black Arachnia. And speaking of Black Arachnia, I have swapped her legs from the World's Collide repaint, because I think it looks better. But uh, there's the two of them together. And despite having very similar transformations and looking like... They could come from the similar mold like the old toys did. Um, you can see very drastically different in their spider modes and even in their robot modes. But uh, it's a solid piece. The legs here uh, up to up to here are a solid piece that plugs in, and then there's a ball joint at the end of each of the legs. So, uh, but they are there in the arm, very similar to how black arachnids are, but the arms are facing forward as opposed to for the little pedipalps versus uh, backwards, like they are on Black Arachnia. So yeah, he's a cool purple and greeny and yellowy green, and like I said, there's some, yellowy, some yellowish, some metallic green, some bright green for his eyes, purple and black. You can see all the colors right there. What a cool little tarantula. And to transform him, we'll go ahead and uh, lift up the legs here and pop this off. You can see it kind of pegs onto this tab, although mine's a little loose. It really does need those legs to hold it in place. It just kind of tabs on this, this slot there uh, with the... Uh, actually, that's now, it's, now it's secure. I don't know, whatever. But uh, it just goes into the empty spaces on the gun. The saw blade comes off. It doesn't spin. It's just painted on. A little disappointing. It would have been nice if that spun like his transmetal self. But uh, you can connect that like that to the back of his weapon. Have a combined weapon. You can use it separately, but we'll set that off to the side for now. And we'll unpop his little, his little feet and legs out of here. Like that. Do -do -do -do. This piece comes up. And then uh, the arms unpeg. Unpeg the whole. Uh, there we go. Have the arms there. And this piece comes down and around like that. And I rotate him around at the waist here. And then extend him up. And this little abdomen piece is going to come up and plug right in there to the back of the spider head. Legs down. Legs down. Bring the arms down. I'll rotate them forward. forward like that and then the spider legs much like on black arachne up bring his shoulders all the way forward there and kind of rotate and collapse in position however you want um, they're a little less flexible i try to kind of fold them around to the back and have them sit back there but however you want to you can have them hangly dangly you can have them uh tucked away but uh, they are a little limited in how they can move but there is tarantulas it is cool. Like I said, I, I think I like this color scheme. It's not 100% exact to the cartoon, but it, it's evocative of his transmetal form as well, uh, especially with the saw blades. So, well, I, I love his transmetal form. I think that's my favorite tarantulas. It's one of my favorite transformer modes ever is transmetal tarantulas. Uh, that's a nice little representation of the devious little dude, and he can hold his weapons in his hand. He's got... A ball joint at the head, although it's a little limited due to all the sculpting and the, the muscles and such. The arms, like again, 
bicep, you got a little hinge there, you got a dual hinge at the shoulder, uh, you got bicep swivel and then above the elbow swivel, uh, based on the spider legs, you got a hinge there at the fist, although it is just a claw hand, it doesn't really do anything. It does have a waist swivel, dual hinge hips, thigh swivel, dual hinge knees, and then a hinge knee and a side to side a ankle tilt hinge there in the foot. I thought about pulling all of my Predacons down off the shelf for this one, but I think I'm going to save that for Inferno to have the whole group shot. I'll probably pull all the Maximals down as well just to get the whole Season 1 cast in a shot. But we will show her off, show him off with uh, Black Arachnia here. And you can see, they're, they're uh, with, with the, uh, the waist pieces with the spider eyes and such, like in the, in the way the knees and legs fold up, and even the feet, like, there's a lot of detail in the way the shoulders work. He's got much bulkier arms, you can tell, but, like, there's a lot of design elements shared between the two that uh, evoke that the fact that they were originally the same mold back in the original Beast Wars series, uh, despite being drastically visually different in both their alt and robot modes, which is really cool. Yeah, I'm super stoked to have him. Like I said, it was a find just a couple hours into my London trip. Uh, probably one of my most sought-after figures for the last several months. And he's here, and I love him, and I can't wait to put him uh, at the front of my Predacon display in the computer room because uh, he's one of my favorite characters. Again, would have been nice if it had been the Transmetal version. Hopefully we'll, we, there is that Transmetal Megatron coming, so maybe we can squeak out a Transmetal Tarantulas. Uh, but uh, if not, I'm totally happy with this guy. Legacy Deluxe Transmetal, or not trans, I almost said Transmetal. Legacy Deluxe Tarantulas, uh, pick them up when you find them. I think he's starting to show up at some comic shops and should be hitting the shelves here in the U.S. soon if he hasn't already by the time this video goes up. Um, but yeah, picked him up in London, super chuffed. There he is.